Like me, you may normally associate Marshall Tuflex with containment, trunking, conduit, tray, and so on. But they've got a few tricks up their sleeves, and we've come down to Imperial College London, where this beautiful new building is going up, including some really clever underfloor wiring systems. Now, this is one of those specialised areas of installation that people who do it day in, day out won't give much thought to, but if you haven't done it before, it's absolutely fascinating. Along with this dive into the underfloor wiring system itself, we've also created a free training package to help you with your CPD. So if you'd like to know more about this subject and get a free PDF certificate to prove that you've spent some time learning about it, click the link in the description below to check it out. Now, in a project like this, where the rooms are very likely to end up changing their function and layouts, it's really important to create a highly flexible installation that can be added to and adjusted when needed. There's also the challenge of getting electricity into spaces quite far out in the middle of a room for desks and things like that. Couple this with the fact that suspended ceilings are not really in vogue at the moment and the solution, it seems, is beneath your feet with an underfloor installation. The backbone of this system is this 63 amp power track which comes in four different lengths. This is installed under the floor and spaced along it has these tap-off points which allow loads to be connected. We'll come back to those in a moment but let's have a look at how we get the power track connected to the supply. Looking underneath the length of power track here you can see at the intake end it has these pins sticking down which serve a dual purpose. They can either connect to another length of track to extend the length or they can be used to connect to the feed unit. Inside here, there's a chunky terminal block that can take up to 16 mil squared cable and also has two earth terminals either side. Perfect if you're using three core armoured and you need to bond the armouring. This feed unit acts like a beefy socket and the track plugs into it, giving a secure electrical connection. Earth continuity is ensured by the metal casing and the secure clipping action of the metal tabs either side of the track. Now you may have noticed inside the feed unit there was a third terminal in the middle that didn't get a mention. This is because there's a variant of the power track system that features a clean earth. This is easily distinguishable from the regular kit by the red outlets or a red dot on socket outlets. This terminal is intended to receive the clean earth conductor and distribute it onwards to the power track by a separate connection. If you look at the two systems side by side you can see that the clean earth variant has an extra pin and terminal to connect the clean earth throughout. If you'd like to know just what a clean earth is then check out the free training package that we mentioned earlier. So having got the power track connected to the supply what can we do with it? Well as we already mentioned we can extend lengths of track by simply connecting them end to end or if we want to turn a corner or come back on ourselves we can use these clever interlink connectors which have a plug on one end and a socket on the other to allow one length of track to connect to another. Once the track is all laid out we can then connect to it using the tap off units. These just plug directly into the outlets on the track. The outlets are covered in this small layer of thin plastic to keep dust out of the sockets and the tap offs just pierce through them when you connect them up. The tap-offs come in either 13 amp fused connectors or 32 amp unfused connectors. For an explanation on why we can connect a 32 amp device to a 63 amp source without using a fuse, again, free training package. These tap-off units have these sturdy metal flexible conduits on them in three or five meter lengths and inside them there's the line neutral and earth conductors. Although if you look at a clean earth version you can see that there's a fourth black conductor in here and that conductor has a bit of green and yellow sleeving with a clear label stating that this is a clean earth. That's a really neat solution to make it clear which earth conductor is which while still complying with the requirements for identification in BS 7671. So what do we connect these to? Well, we said earlier, there's a bit of a challenge when it comes to getting power and data to positions that are away from walls without trailing leads all over the place. So the floor box is one excellent solution. The flexible conduit from the tap-offs can be brought directly into these and the conductors connected to socket outlets that sit flat in the base here. As well as containing socket outlets, you can also install data connections into the same outlets, either into these flat plates or these cleverly angled wave plates for easier access. These are really adaptable and allow you to install whatever configuration you might need at an outlet with both three and four compartment boxes available. However, to simplify and speed up installation, Marshall Tuflex also provide complete units where the tap-offs and boxes come pre-assembled to each other. Again, various combinations of three and four module boxes with one or two sockets are available in this pre-wired format. The lids of the boxes come in plastic for areas where they're not expected to get much of a battering, steel lids for areas of higher impact, and for the most intense areas, there's a steel subframe assembly that reinforces the edges of the box 
making it really tough. So that gets the fixed parts of the installation completed, but we're not quite finished with this clever system just yet. Obviously, it's really flexible, but the last group of accessories in this video is the icing on the cake and takes the form of these power and data modules. These accessories maximize the adaptability of the system by distributing sockets and data from the floor boxes to desks and similar. It's just a matter of taking a lead with a 13 amp BS1363 plug at one end and this Wheeland GST plug at the other end and use it to connect the socket in the floor box to the power module of your choice. Simple. There's so many options with this kit to make it suit any situation. There's choices of two, four or six gang outlets, unswitched, individually switched or with a master switch that turns the whole module on and off. If you need to provide RCD protection to the socket outlets at the point of use, there's a few options within this range. The first is an RCD built into the power module that contains the socket outlets, giving protection to whatever you plug into them. Or you can use one of these distribution feed units that will protect any power modules connected to them via the GST sockets on the front. There's also a single unit option of this RCBO module that protects any sockets connected downstream from it. And finally, you can also just use individually protected RCD sockets that are installed directly into the floor boxes. Now, you may have noticed in some of the close-ups there that the sockets are individually protected by fuses, but they're not 13 amp fuses like we may usually see in a plug top. They're much smaller at 5 amps or even on the six gang modules, an unexpectedly specific value of 3.15 amps. So why is that? Can you guess where you'll find the answer? You'll find the link to that training package in the description. And if you'd rather have the power and data modules mounted on top of the desks, then Marshall Tuflex can cater that as well with these rather lovely looking desktop modules. One small but thoughtful feature on these that I really like is the way the socket is partially rotated to maintain the low profile of the module while easing pressure on the flex as it leaves the plug. Again, these are available in two gang and four gang with and without USB charging points. And for the ultimate in adaptability, there's a series of variants with USB charging and spaces for data inserts in two, three and four gang. So there we go. This system is incredibly adaptable, flexible and resilient for use in the most demanding of commercial and educational environments. If you'd like to know some of the deeper details about this method of installation, please do go and check out that free training module that we've created to help you with your CPD. All that remains in this video is to say thank you very much for watching.